everybody, are you ready to glow up? Parang BTS song lang. Are you ready to glow? So, I'm saying this kasi siguro naman before nakita nyo yung iba kong mga videos with regards to doing makeup. May isa na tinuturo ako si Janice mag-makeup tapos meron din isa na minimakeupan ko si Janice mismo. So, today, instead of the tutorials and all, I am going to share with you how I do my makeup as natural as possible. Ito yung makeup na ginagawa ko pag meron akong event na pupuntahan or paminsan kapag kailangan very casual lang sa TV or even sometimes pag Zoom meetings na kailangan medyo casual lang or informal pero presentable pa rin. Ang goal is to glow. That is the goal. The focus is luminosity. Wow. Oh. So, we just want to look radiant and uh, still natural as possible. Unang-una sa lahat ay hawiin natin ang hair para hindi hassle. Tapos, ang next is, well, considering siguro by now nakapagbukas na kayo ng mukha, naglagay na kayo ng sunblock, or kung hindi man, ito na ang chance. So, what I do is, I usually tone, I tone my skin, meaning, binabasa ko ng konti with like a, some sort of moisturizer or some sort of mist. And here, let me tell you something about this brand. Uh, this is Jong Seymour. I don't know if you can see. Yan. Jong Seymour. This brand is from Korea. Si Jung Seymour, she is a... I don't know if I'm saying it right. Patawarin nyo ako. Sorry, sorry if I'm not saying it right. But Jung Seymour, she is a makeup artist in Korea that I discovered... Alam niyo naman, nanonood ako ng mga Korean shows. So, na-discover ko siya sa isang Korean show. Nagbibigay siya ng demo. And then, na-enjoy ko yung demo niya. Marami ako natutunan. So, ever since, pinapanood ko siya sa YouTube and all that. And then, of course, she came out with her own line of skincare and of course her own line of makeup so since uh, well i am lucky enough or blessed that i was able to get a hold of this thank you john samuel for letting me try and guys i've been using it since i got it there are other brands that you can use to tone and to prep your skin before you do your makeup or other foundation but I'm just saying that today I'll be using mostly Jung Seymo products and with a mix of other makeup products that I regularly use, regularly use as well. So, umpisa natin with a spray and this is called the 3-in-1 Boosting Mist Fixer. So, in short, parang binuboost lang niya ang moisture, pinapalabas lang niya at pinapafreshen ang skin mo. So, I always do this before I start and put my 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 um ano ba tawag dito they call it something eh <laughs> to prep my skin primer ayan so i'm going to start with uh, essential mool cream light okay honestly this is the first time i'm going to use this sino save ko kasi siya so ayan siya and there you go there you go i'm just going to put it in some areas lalo na din sa mga areas na madaling mag magkaroon ako ng lines. So, let's start with that. You always want to moisturize your skin kasi when you do that, when you prep your skin before you do your makeup, mas kumakapit yung foundation. Wow! This here is the primer. I've used this a couple of times now. And here's my tip. Sometimes when when I feel like kailangan ko lang naman e glow e pupunta lang naman ako sa isang sa grocery or something. <laughs> Ito na lang ginagamit ko. Kasi meron na rin siyang SPF eh. May SPF 50 siya. Plus, parang may glow ka na. Hindi mo na kailangan mag ano, Mag foundation. So dito pa lang, kilay na lang pwede na, ba? Pero sige, tuloy na natin. And then, ito talaga, aliw na aliw ako. Because if you're familiar with cushion foundations, makikita nyo na this is my usual favorite. Okay. So, bilog ang sponge niya. But, with Jung Seymour, parang pati your drop. I guess it's, it's basically to get to the nooks and crannies of your face. So, here. Paalala lang, full coverage shot. Meaning to say, a little goes a long, long way. So, wag nyo 
ilagay na ng todo-todo kasi magugulat kayo din, madami siya. And it's really, really full coverage. So according sa mga tutorial ni Jung Saimul, you start with a B. Ganyan daw. Okay, ako kung saan saan ko lang siya nilalagay, basta't mailapat ko siya. Okay, I'm using the Y4 sand. Tapos meron din silang darker, which I will actually try to use. I noticed with the mga cushion, lalo na with these cushion sponges, the key is to dab, not wipe. Not glide. Dab. At hindi pa dyan nagtatapos kasi there's also brushes. I'm gonna be blending it a little bit with my blending brush, my yung sa'yo mo foundation brush. Hindi ako endorser ah. <laughs> Trip ko lang. So now, medyo nag ano na tayo, nag contour ng very very light. Lagay tayo ng very very light na definition. Very very light na. Hindi ko kasi ma iwas. So now, let's try and put some blush before we do the other stuff. And this is how I do it. Or you're supposed to use your hands with this. Blush or tint. So think of a V and think of the line of your nose and think of a V. So if you see that, over here, I'll start ng blush. May point dyan. Na recently ko lang na discover. Wow. Dahil nga nanonood ako ng mga tutorials. So, yan. Meron na tayong blush. Meron na tayong ponting shape. And we're good to go. So now, we will just clean it up a little bit. Using the foundation brush, I'll dab a little bit. Maglagay tayo ng concealer. And then there's this brush that they have. That parang it's like a all-around brush to correct, to conceal. Now, what I usually do is I put some powder on. Powder. Why do we put it? Para lang to set. Para when we put all the other stuff like the eyeshadow and the blush on, hindi siya mag-crease, tapos it will stay put. Pero when you put the powder, please be very deliberate where you put it. Meaning, just put it kung saan kailangan. Yung look na parang you're glowing from within. So, kung hindi mo makorek sa ugali mo na mag-glow ka from within, correct mo na lang sa make it. Okay, so ayan na siya. Push your kilay. Push your kilay. So, ito ang aking discovery, guys. I had this, this discovery recently na aliw na aliw ako kasi it cuts my eyebrow makeup in half. Huwag lang magkamali. Huwag ka lang magkamali. Okay, so ito yun. May two cloth. Yan, yan siya. Anyway, so it makes it easier to do this. If you line your kilay like that, oh, parang strands of hair. Ayan, pang tamad. Ito ang tinatawag na pang tamad na pang kilay. This is another color. Baka this is more obvious na hindi siya, ano, para siyang there's three lines. Okay, let's go with a base, a light base, some eyes, just to brighten it up because the goal here is not to look made up. this MAC. So, kung ano-ano lang, kung ano naisip. And then, if you see that here, or in any of your makeup, makikita niya there's like one that's um, 
parang makintab or glossy or frosted. Get it and then dab it over here for the muta look. Why? Because usually, yung, this area, it, it's usually deeper than the rest of your eye. And when you put this, it brightens up your face. So, parang umaangat siya. So, nagmumukha kang fresh imbis na haggard. Kasi pag masyado siyang malalim, mukha kang haggard. And the goal here is to glow, not look haggard. Okay, now let's, so, so we, since we've done that, Siguro now it's time to put a little bit of shading. Let's go with some eyeliner. For me, what I try to do is I create parang parang ako lang na kakaalam na nag-eyeliner. Parang bang secret siya. I'm just using a light this one. You can line as close to your lashes as possible. Some lift their eyes like this. So the goal is to go as close to your lash line as possible. Okay? And usually, what I do is I use a brush that is really, really thin after I line it with my eyeliner. And I shall use my Kill Black. Blending is the key. So we want a blush that that looks parang ano lang natural. Hindi ay taka blush on siyang pink. Yeah, we're going for natural. So let's go with this. So you see there's glow already, no? Oh, yeah. Now always gotta go around para hindi hiwalay yung blush on, yung contour, yung powder, hindi hiwalay sa mukha. And then, mascara and ano na, curlash na and mascara and we're finished. Look at this mascara. This mascara it's a comb. It's a comb. So, ayan. So, that's what it is. So, now, let's do the lips. Lipstick, lipstick, lipstick. Here. Now, uh, this, what color is this? I don't know what color this is, but I gotta put it in the level. Okay, ayan siya. And now, you have it. You have the glowing look. Now, do you want it to glow some more? Let it set. Use your spray. If you don't have this, it's okay because you can get any spray and it will glow. And it will set your makeup as well. Pai 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 pai. Pai 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 pai. Or you can do this. Bye, 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 bye. Okay. And you're good to go. Glowing makeup, luminosity is the key. Wow. <laughs> so if you want to look radiant and glowing, you can try what I did. Uh, I'm sure naman, hindi lang naman ako ang tanging nagpalabas ng mga glowing makeup tutorial, whatever. Pero sinashare ko lang sa inyo kung anong ginagawa ko. Ngayon, kung hindi nyo type, well, mag-like and subscribe na lang kayo. Pero kung type nyo, do it on yourself and see if you can do it as well. 
Thank you very much for joining me. And if you are interested in the Jung Saemo products, I think you can get them from Lazada. But if not, you know what? You can use other products, your own foundations, and your own blush ons, and your own powders. Bahala kayo, kanya kanyang style. Pero sana nag enjoy kayo, o kay papa na may natutulan kayo sa mga tinurok sa inyo today. I hope you have a glowing day. Bye, everybody. Like and subscribe.